This first smear is a large one for swords. Rig your mini fig with epic fig rig. Drag the sword to the hand. Rotate the sword to match the hand position. Parent the sword to the hand. You can rotate the sword by changing the transform mode to local. You can animate on twos. Select the smear and duplicate it. Move it to the object with Shift S. Rotate it to match the sword motion path. If the end connector is too big, you can delete it with Tab and using L to select it. Parent the smear to the sword. Keyframe it appearing and disappearing. You can adjust the timing to add more or less frames. You can also animate a side swipe with the same smear. This next smear uses three smaller smears. Send the knife to the hand and align it. You can animate the motion of grabbing the knife from the back. Also, parent the knife to the hand. Keyframe the knife scale to further add to the motion. Animate a slashing motion. Select and duplicate the smear and send it to the knife. You can edit the piece with Tab and L to remove the connector if it is too big. Rotate to align. Duplicate the smear with Shift D and move it below. You can make the last one smaller with S. Join the three smears with Control J. Rotate to further line up them with the knife. Animate them appearing and disappearing. Open the shader editor and match the smear color with the knife by copying the color hex code. The third smear can be used for colored swords. Send the sword to the hand and rotate to match the hand position. Parent the sword to the hand. If you want a multicolored sword, you can duplicate it and delete sections. You can separate the hilt from the blade and color it individually using the shader editor. You can also add color to any part of the blade by doing the same technique. Animate the sword movement. Duplicate the smear piece with Shift D. Send it to the sword and rotate it. Open the shader editor and set the sword's gray color to the smear. Parent the smear to the sword. Send the smaller smear to the top of the sword and align it. Open the shader editor and this time set the sword's red color to the smear. Parent the smaller smear to the sword. Keyframe the animation of it appearing on the first frame of the swiping motion. This smear is for lightsabers. Send the lightsaber to the hand. You can join the hilt and blade as well. Align it. Parent it to the hand. Duplicate and send the smear piece to the blade. Align it and parent the smear to the blade. If you want a transparent, you can re-import the smear from Mechabricks with the correct transparent color selected. Further align it with the blade. Adjust the keyframe timing. Here's another lightsaber smear that is used for a spinning object. Animate a spinning motion. Move the first smear to the blade and align it. Repeat with the larger smear. Again with the last smaller smear. Reposition the smears from largest to smallest. Recolor them to match the blade color. Parent each smear to the blade. Animate them appearing and disappearing at certain points of the spin. All three are at the start and bottom. Then it goes to just two towards the end. Here's how you can visualize the smear path. These are some miscellaneous smears for a differently shaped object. Select the object and align it with the hand. Animate the movement. Duplicate and move the smear to the object. Align it. Parent the smear to the object. Open the shader editor and copy the object's color onto the smear. Animate the scale to have it appear and disappear. You can also use the flag piece. Repeat the previous steps. Duplicate and scale each one getting smaller. Join them with Control J. Parent the smear to the object. Animate the scale like before. Repeat the earlier steps with this curved wedge piece. Animate it to appear after the flag pieces. 